Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I said, this is Intervlog, the channel that brings you the latest and most inspiring stories from Africa and beyond. Today, we are here to celebrate a historic moment, a game-changing development that is reshaping the landscape of African innovation and technological advancement. We are talking about Burkina Faso's own 100% indigenous electric vehicle, the ITAOIUA EV. Under the visionary leadership of President Captain Ibrahim Traoré, Burkina Faso has emerged as a beacon of progress, proving to the world that Africa is not just a consumer of technology, but a producer, an innovator, and a leader in the global transition to sustainable mobility. The unveiling of the ITAOUA EV is not just an achievement for Burkina Faso, but a statement for the entire continent that African ingenuity knows no bounds. ITAOUA EV versus Tesla, a new era of African innovation. For years, the electric vehicle industry has been dominated by Tesla, the American brand spearheaded by Elon Musk. Tesla's cars and Cybertrucks have been marketed as the pinnacle of automotive technology, but today a new player has entered the field, challenging the status quo and offering an alternative that is tailor-made for Africa. Let us break it down. The Itoa EV is designed by Burkina Bay engineers, manufactured in Burkina Faso, and built to serve the specific needs of African consumers. It can run up to 330 kilometers on just 30 minutes of charging, making it not just a sustainable solution, but also a highly practical one in regions where access to energy is a crucial concern. This means that the ITAOUA EV is not only on par with Tesla's supercharger technology, but is actually optimized for rapid charging, reducing downtime and maximizing efficiency for African roads. President Captain Ibrahim Traoré's unwavering commitment to transforming Burkina Faso into a technological hub is commendable. His support for homegrown industries like Itaue sets a precedent for other African nations to follow. The launch of the Itaue EV is not just a milestone for Burkina Faso, but a call to action for the rest of Africa. It signals that the era of dependency on foreign technology is over and that Africa is now taking control of its own future. Intervlog is here to bring you the stories that matter, and today, the message is clear. Africa is rising. The launch of the Itua EV is a wake-up call to the world that African innovation is here to stay. With leaders like President Ibrahim Traoré paving the way, the future of electric mobility will not be dictated by Silicon Valley alone, but will have its roots deeply embedded in the heart of Africa. So, to all our African brothers and sisters, the next time you consider buying an electric vehicle, remember ITAOUA. Elon Musk's Tesla in trouble as Captain Ibrahim Traore launches his own 100% electric vehicle made in Burkina Faso. In Burkina Faso, the company Itawa Industry just revealed the first electric car that is 100% made in Burkina Faso itself. It needs 30 minutes of charging and can run up to 330 kilometers. Burkina Faso debuts first 100% indigenous EV. As the competition for electric vehicles, EVs, heats up in Africa, Burkina Faso has debuted its first 100% indigenous EV. The EV brand, Itawa, can go 330 kilometers after only 30 minutes of charging, according to the car manufacturer. The production plant is located in Waga 2000, one of the prime districts in the West African country, and is a result of a Burkinabe entrepreneur's goal to transform his country into a technological hub. Burkinabe engineers are in charge of both design and manufacturing. The unveiling of the Atawa EV comes at a time when analysts predict massive development in Africa's electric vehicle market. Research firm Mordor Intelligence says Africa's electric vehicle market is growing, noting that it was valued at $11.94 billion in 2021, and it is projected to reach $21.39 billion by 2027, registering a compounded annual growth rate of 10.2% during the forecast period. In the case of Burkina Faso, 
the car manufacturer stated that the country has just proven that innovation is not the preserve of great powers, but that it can also germinate, grow, and radiate from the heart of Sahel in Africa. Speech by Burkina Faso, President Captain Ibrahim Traoré on the launch of Itawa EV. My dear compatriots, honored guests, esteemed engineers, and visionaries of Burkina Faso, today, we stand at the threshold of history. We are not just unveiling a vehicle. We are driving forward the destiny of our nation. Itawa EV is not merely a car. It is the embodiment of our ingenuity, our resilience, and our determination to define our own technological future. Let me ask you, my people, who said Africans could not innovate? Who told us that we must always rely on others to develop our industries? Who whispered to us that Burkina Faso must always remain in the back seat while the world speeds ahead? Sira, Kaban, Anka, Ta. The road is open. We must move forward. Today, we answer those questions not with words, but with action. The Itawa EV is more than just a means of transportation. It represents our ability to dream, design, and manufacture, right here in Burkina Faso. Built entirely by Burkinabe engineers, using the strength of our hands and the wisdom of our ancestors, this vehicle signals our arrival on the global stage of innovation. With a mere 30-minute charge, it can travel up to 330 kilometers. That is efficiency. That is sustainability. That is proof that African excellence knows no bounds. Let me ask, if we can build a car today, what can we not build tomorrow? If we have mastered electric mobility, why can we not master robotics, artificial intelligence, and space technology in the future? Burkina Faso is rising, and we will not stop. For too long, we have imported foreign technology, consuming rather than producing. For too long, our young people have been told to look elsewhere for opportunity, while our lands are rich with potential. Today, with Idaoi, we declare that Burkina Faso is no longer just a buyer of technology. We are now creators, inventors, and leaders in the electric vehicle industry. They told us that innovation belongs to the great powers, but let me remind them, greatness is not inherited. It is built. Just as our ancestors built great kingdoms, Today, we are building a new legacy, one that is sustainable, self-sufficient, and proudly African. My people, this is not just about cars. It is about jobs. It is about education. It is about national pride. Our production plant in Uwaga 2000 is not only manufacturing vehicles. It is creating employment for our youth, training future engineers, and stimulating our local economy. Consider this. Each Itawa EV built and sold means more jobs for our people, more training for our youth, more investment in our country. We are breaking the cycle of dependency and creating wealth for Burkina Faso by Burkina Faso and for Burkina Faso. Tikora ni biga ye dunia la. A child who owns a hoe has control over his own future. The Itawa EV is our hoe. Let us cultivate our own prosperity. We all know the devastating effects of climate change. Our lands suffer from desertification, and our people endure unpredictable weather patterns. The Itawa EV is a direct response to these challenges. By moving towards electric vehicles, we reduce pollution, decrease our reliance on fossil fuels, and create a cleaner environment for future generations. Now tell me, my people, if others can protect their environment, why can we not do the same? If they can build a sustainable future, why should we lag behind? We must take responsibility for our own land and our own future. This success is not just for Burkina Faso, it is for Africa. To my brothers and sisters across the continent, I say, rise up, innovate, build, do not wait for the world to tell you what you are capable of. If Burkina Faso can build an electric vehicle, then what can Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, and Mali achieve? We must change the narrative. 
the time has come for us to trade among ourselves, invest in our own people, and strengthen our industries. Let us no longer be just a market for foreign goods. Let us become the producers and exporters of African excellence. Many have asked me, Captain Traoré, what does this mean for Tesla and other global brands? And I respond, I café segue ye, abe segue. If a tree stands tall, it is because its roots are strong. We respect what others have built, but it is time for Africa to stand tall on its own roots. Tesla has its vision, but so do we. Why should our people continue buying foreign vehicles when we have our own, made with our own resources, by our own engineers? Itawa is not just a car. It is a statement that Africa can and will compete in the global market. This is just the beginning. The Itawa EV marks the dawn of a new industrial revolution in Burkina Faso. We will expand production, explore new technologies, and ensure that every Burkinabe who desires an electric vehicle can own one. We will not stop until Burkina Faso is a leader in green technology. We will not stop until every young African believes that they can build the future with their own hands. And bay se tara, and bay se new man. We will move forward. We will prosper. My people, let us embrace this moment. Let us support our own industries. Let us drive forward not only Itawa EVs, but also the destiny of our great nation. This is our time. This is our revolution. And as we take to the roads with Itawa, let the world know. Burkina Faso is no longer just watching. We are leading. Long live Burkina Faso. Long live African innovation. Wend nakod yam. May God bless us all. Stay tuned to Intervlog for more groundbreaking stories from Africa. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.